Three, two, one. So, today, we're talking about empowering your responsibility. I'm going to start with a series of questions. They're rhetorical. You don't have to answer them, but you can if you'd like. So, here's one. Who is responsible for your life? Who's responsible for your mistakes? Who is responsible for your successes? Who is responsible for how you react, respond, or feel about the conditions around you? The news, people, criticisms, opinions, and judgments set at you, or the cooing, wooing love talk of your passion partner? Now, of course, you know the answer. Even, even if it's just intellectually and you don't want to say it out loud, but you know the answer, it's not me, it's not God, it's not the universe or, or the law, right? Yeah, it's you. It's you about you. You are responsible for you. So no matter your education, your social status, how many times you went to a Tony Robbins weekend, or whether your best friends with the Dalai Lama absorbed every Neville or Ram Dass recording, seen every Super Soul Sunday broadcast, or read all the new thoughts that have ever been written, including mine, we all need to have a habit of, at least sometimes, blaming something outside of ourselves for things that we don't like that are happening in our lives, right? like the way we were brought up, or your education, your neighborhood, your gender, addiction, your smothering mother, whatever it is that you like to blame on why certain things are happening in your life, it's not true. Like I say almost every week to you, to myself, to others, you can't just know this stuff intellectually. I have to remind myself of that as well. You can't just believe in these principles that we teach here or have every new thought phrase at the ready to explain away negative experiences that show up. You got to work it. You got to work this concept. You got to work these ideas. You got to work this philosophy. George Bernard Shaw wrote in Man and Superman, Liberty means responsibility. That is why most men, most people, dread it. They dread their liberty because that means they're responsible for everything that happens. With freedom comes responsibility. And each and every one of us have been given the freedom from the divine to attract unto ourselves that which we have decided we want to have. And that can be negative stuff too. So whether it be happiness or suffering, though you may temporarily lose control of your emotions sometimes, you are always in charge of your feelings and your behaviors. Again, I am not talking about blame, shame, or guilt here. I don't want you to step into victimhood. That stuff gets you nowhere fast. It's not about being a victim, and it's not about being a victim of a victim. I'm talking about personal power that each of us have, the stuff that will get you where you want to go fast and victorious, personal power that was built into you and me and all of us. You are always at cause. I am always at cause. You're at the helm of your reactions and your responses. You have the power to do something to change your thinking and perspective to one that is happier and more peaceful. You have that power and you can start it today. I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care what you've been doing for 50 years. You can start it right here and right now because you always have that power. That power can never be taken away. Nobody can take it away from you. If you don't believe me, read... Um, 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 the Frankel book, while he was in a um, Nazi concentration camp. 
a fabulous book the title just went away man's uh, i'll find it and 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 tell you about it he was in a concentration camp and he knew that the only thing they couldn't take away from him was what he was thinking so you can either we can either allow others to cause us stress and anxiety or we can be the cause of our peace and calm we can choose to use our triggers to embarrass and harass ourselves and our loved ones, or we can use those tr triggers to learn from and thus stimulate our growth. The choice is ours. Now, I don't know about you, but when I find myself shouting at someone or raising my voice even, um, it doesn't take long for me to feel feel kind of wrong inside, kind of icky, uncomfortably, uncomfortable, sometimes even shaky. And it's not that I was necessarily unjustified in the anger or at what I was shouting about or raising my voice about or, you know, putting an edge to my voice about, but the, the agita in my body expressing those emotions, not only do they not make me feel better, but the situation usually doesn't get resolved to its best at least my map our map your map of reality what you have decided should be in life how life is working around you is being tested provoked prodded poked it brings out some frustration of not being heard that's what happens to me at least Maybe it's a childhood thing. I'm not sure that seeped into an adult thing. Um, could be being yelled at or, or talked into a corner equals a fear of what might come after the yelling or, or the fear of feeling second rate. And thus that starts equaling an anger at that fear at allowing that fear, fear to show up and, and, and worry about what that person is causing but that person isn't causing anything that I'm not allowing them to. But even so I become, I can become, and I have become at some times conditioned to get triggered and thus to um, either shout in some way, not necessarily in a loud voice or cower. Now I learned that that was a trigger of feeling less than feeling second rate that came from somewhere i don't know but at the same time i realized i wasn't powerless and a lot of that i learned from this teaching but that i wasn't powerless that i had all the power of the universe there to grab onto if i would just do it and i could you choose to either access that power or yell in some way, or, or, or cower. I had that choice. I can make that choice. I could own it, be responsible for it, and thus change my state, my whole state of being about it. Or I could let it run my life. I learned that, I saw that, I began to see that. That I can't blame the other people for how I feel. What was unconscious because of habit became conscious and then victimhood went out the window and with victimhood going out the window followed struggle and drama. You know, I only like drama in movies, television and on stage and preferably with me performing one of the characters in that fiction, but drama in my life, no, don't need it, don't want it don't attract it. A gentleman named Roy T. Bennett wrote a book called The Light in the Heart. And he said, take responsibility of your own happiness. Never put it in other people's hands. I think that is so beautiful, so perfect, 
so true. And we do it all the time. And it may not be uh, even a person that you're close to. It could be the government. It could be stuff you're hearing on the news. You start hearing it so often, you feel like it's true. And it's not true unless you decide it's true for you. Victimhood attracts victim experiences. The perspective of being the victor attracts victorious experiences. That's what I mean by perspective when I talk about change your perspective, change your life. When your perspective of you being the victor at all times, even, even in quote unquote failure, you're still the victor because you've learned something from that. That attracts more victorious experiences because that's the what the law hears. The law of cause and effects, the law of, tra of attraction, whatever you want to call it, it hears this energy. It, 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 well, hears is the best word I can think of right, right now. It, it absorbs this energy, this frequency, this vibration of being victorious. And so it brings to you experiences that are for you victorious. Yeah, we're, we're not responsible for what other people do, but by taking responsibility for our reactions, for our responses, our thoughts, emotions, feelings, and, and the surroundings we choose to, to be around, we empower ourselves to control our condition during any experience that shows up. And with that, we can choose the best route. We can choose the best path, the best thoughts, and the best life without excuses. Oh, I have to find this. Uh, somebody posted something on Facebook today. And, oh, here's, this is great. Um, uh, and she said, your triggers are your responsibility. It isn't the world's obligation to tiptoe around you. You know, I'm not saying that it's, bad to have triggers. We all have triggers. But as those occur, when we take the time to realize that those are triggers, unconscious, subconscious, conscious, whatever they are, we learn from those. They become our own little red flag and we can move forward through them and sometimes slowly, not have them show up anymore when that experience seems to attract that trigger. We have to do it. We have to do it for ourselves. Nobody, nobody really can help us. Even if you go to spiritual counseling with me or a life coach or, or, or a psychotherapist, their job is not to to change you, their job is to help you realize the truth that you have the power, that that idea, that old idea coming from junk stories that somehow you learned somewhere are not your truth. It's just something that happens that you can not have happen anymore. As Yoda said in The Empire Strikes Back, do or do not, there is no try. So when you choose to choose peace and calm, you can do that by in the moment when you can feel that trigger coming on, just take a breath, take a moment, count backwards from five. That'll help you. Those simple little tools will help you not jump into that trigger, not react with that trigger. They will empower you to remember who you are and the power you have to choose to respond to whatever's going on, whatever anybody says, including yourself. And you shall empower then your responsibility with the light of wisdom. And then open up. Open yourself up to the infinite greatness the universe has to offer. You get to choose. I get to choose every moment of every day. Choose wisely.
Choose peacefully, lovingly, calmly, and walk your life in the poise of a victor. Thank you so much. Namaste.